Hi everyone, Nathan Stein at Pegasus Robotics. Now many of you have asked and are curious about how to go ahead and map and turn those boundaries into obstacles and boundary layers that we can use in our XAG P100s and P100 Pros. So in order to do that, we're gonna start today by flying this field back here behind me of corn that's just tasseling. We are going to fly it with a Mavic 3 Multispectral from DJI. Then we're gonna take those pictures and process those in Pix4D fields create the boundary and obstacle layers, and then transfer those to the P100 and P100 Pro spraying drones and go ahead and apply those products uh, so that we can go ahead and avoid hitting any of the trees or obstacles in that field. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and hit flight route and we're gonna create a route. From there, we're gonna choose the mapping mission and it's gonna show us on the screen. We're gonna zoom in to where our field is and then click. That's gonna give us a boundary to start with. Let's drag our points here to cover the field. It doesn't have to follow exactly what it is. Um, you wanna just fly over exactly um, enough of your field. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine at 395 because that's um, legal right here. We can go ahead and change our course angle to fit the field a little bit better. I'm gonna fly lengthways so it takes a little bit less and if you want to do your advanced settings 70 percent side 80 percent uh, uh, frontal overlap and set your margin to about 80 to 100. okay you can review your settings double check see how it turned out um, this is what i have i've got 395 70 percent 80 percent overlap and then I change my course angle with about 100% on the, on the margin. I'm gonna click save, and that's saved my mission. Then I'm gonna hit the play button. Go through my different settings and start the flight. Okay, so I have my SD card slot and my uh, SD card slot here. I got my mouse pad because it's a lot easier to draw boundaries this way and obstacles. Fix 40 fields is up on the screen, and we're going to start a new project. We're going to import the folder where these are located at, where the images are, um, and then we're going to go ahead and process the RGB images, which are the JPEGs. Okay, so the images are loaded. We're gonna go ahead and we can select fast processing for this project because it's flat and I'm on the edge of the road. It'll go a lot quicker. I could use accurate, but it's gonna take a little bit longer and that's really only gonna be best suited for areas of high and low elevations. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with fast, click apply and click start processing. Okay, so now our map is done processing. All we have to do is outline our boundaries. So we go to boundaries. We can click up here and click the boundary layer. And then this is where the mouse and the scroll button comes in. We're gonna go ahead and start drawing around these boundaries. And we wouldn't draw where the planter goes. We wanna make sure we go around where the trees are because again, these trees are right at the height of the drone. This process takes a little bit of time to zoom in and zoom out. Sometimes it works better to just go home. Sometimes you're in a hurry at the edge of a field and it's a small field, so it doesn't take very long to do this. So maybe we wanna put in an obstacle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just outline these trees real quick because um, I just wanna make sure the drone doesn't think that there's an opportunity to fly that direction. So I can just draw the obstacle as long as it doesn't cross my boundary. And we can go ahead and click OK when we're done with that. 
All right, and then to do a no spray area for XAG, we're gonna go ahead and we can click our boundary. And we can make a hole in there, say there's a terrace in this field or something, we can click edit. And we can always go back to this. And what you're gonna look for is this hole button here. And we can create that. Let's just pretend like this is some sort of a no spray zone. We're gonna go ahead and outline that there. And click OK. Click targeted operation. We click continue. We can choose our boundary and our obstacle. And then we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And it's gonna create this map. We can go ahead and click continue. We're not gonna pre-fill the grid. I'm gonna do it in gallons per acre. And then it's gonna bring that up, give you a grid. I'm gonna choose about 30 or 20 feet is good enough. And this doesn't matter so much, so we're just gonna go ahead um, and click OK right now. Want to put in a two gallon, just for records, you can go ahead and do that. And then to finish up, we're gonna go ahead and click Export, go to Operations, select XAG, and then click Continue. Now, we're gonna export holes and boundaries as no spray areas, as we said before. And then we're gonna click Export, and then it's gonna tell you where do you wanna export this to and what do you wanna name it. Now we go to our web browser, and you will need an internet connection for this, but we're gonna to go to fms.xaggo.com and click Login, put in your username and password. Okay, we're gonna to go to our farmland here, and then we're gonna click Upload and we will go ahead and select our desktop where I have this exported to. I'm going to go to a crossroad, which is the name of the project. project. I'm going to select the KML. This is going to upload and then it's going to ask you and you say XAG1 and click confirm. And if you want to inspect, you can go ahead and click on view map and you can see where we brought in our boundary. You can see our no spray zone and you can see our obstacle in red right here. That's going to load to your app and that'll be available for your flight plan when it comes to fly this field. Okay, that's all we need from this computer now. So we can go ahead and shut this off and go ahead and get ready to get our spray drone ready. Go ahead and start our batteries. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we've got our ARC-3 controller on and paired to the internet. I have um, the P100 setup and the batteries on, so we can go ahead and log into our account. And once we're online, we can go ahead and go to our operation tab. And it'll take a little bit, but this will eventually synchronize with us and we can go ahead and check for this field. All right, we have our field selected. We can go to our drone, turn on our RTK. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Digifarm. So I've already set my cores up selected Digifarm and we can go back and once this is fixed and active we can go ahead and set up our field and then we can go ahead and change our spraying settings here by using a template now so if I want to use that template I can go ahead and do that it's going to set me to about two gallons per acre and then I can change my size of particle and go back then your flight lines are set up. 
All right, so we're going to go to route setting, and then we need to change the boundary safety distance to about four meters because that's about half of what we're spreading, and that keeps the center line of the aircraft uh, four meters away from the edge of this boundary, um, which protects it from those trees. And then the obstacle, I'm going to leave at three and a half meters. We can go to advanced settings. And then if I want to do the boundary, I click boundary operation and enable that. And then I'm going to turn on the outer spraying or the two sided spraying here for this one. So it's going to go around and do the spraying around the edge. It's always good to have route optimization on as well as the obstacle avoidance in an area like this. We can look at this field and you can see there's the no spray zone. So we're flying through those areas. Um, we're not flying through any um, obstacles that are out here and we're going around the outside edge of the field as you can see. Then we're going to move on to the approaching route. This is where we're going from here to the edge of the field. I'm going to set my height to a little higher because um, I want to make sure I just go over any trees or anything. And then I'm going to go at full speed here. I'm going to turn it down to just 10 meters a second so it doesn't come in so fast. And that should be right. If you want to add any links to this, you can go ahead and do that however you want to do that. All right, everything's ready to go. We're just going to hit the start operation, go through our safety checks, and then go ahead and take off. So to summarize, we were able to go ahead and fly this field behind me here. Um, we were able to map it with the Mavic 3 multispectral. We processed and pix 4D fields real quickly on the edge of the field. We created boundaries and obstacles. Then we, tr we transmitted those to the P100 Pro and then executed that flight mission uh, without any incident. Um, this is a great tool and very helpful for any of those out there that want to protect their property, um, their drone themselves and anything around them. Uh, helps avoid any sort of incidents with power lines or, or changes in field boundaries that happen quite often. 
that are not up to date on satellite imagery. So I suggest everybody try to go ahead and try this themselves, maybe on a smaller field first, and then go ahead and use it out on your fields. Thank you.